Hello everybody and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of the Booze Geek. My name is Charles, I am your host, and on this spirit episode of the Booze Geek, that's right, I said it, spirits, we're jumping into the pool of spirits on this episode, we are going to be tasting and reviewing a single malt scotch from the Macallan Distillery. Now, and as we all know, well, scotch can only come from Scotland, right? Uh, but anyways, the scotch that we're going to be tasting, it's actually a cask strength scotch. And what cask strength means is that when the spirit is cask strength, it just means that it's bottled directly from the barrel and there's no additional water added to lower the ABV percentage or to, you know, kind of thin out the spirit. So with that being said, well, what's the Macallan we're drinking? Well, here we go. Let me grab the bottle. This is the Macallan. Single malt cask strength. Now, cask strength, Spirits usually have a higher ABV, so the ABV on this one clocks in at 59.3%. So yeah, it's a little high, and that translates to roughly 118.6 proof. So I don't know, there might be some heat on the spirit, on the scotch, we're going to find out. But really quickly, uh, before we uh, jump in and you know get to what's really in here, uh, I do want to mention the bottle because I like the little details. Very cool bottle shape. It's almost like an oblong circle. It's almost like a stretched out circle. I just think that's cool. But like I said, I like the small details. But anyways, more importantly, let's pop the cork on this one and let's pour some of the goodness out that's inside. Here we go. Boom. There's a little... Bottle boom. And let me grab a little glass here, and as I always say, with spirits, don't need much. A little dabble do ya. So, there we go now. All right. Whoo! Now look at the color on that. Let me give that a swirl. Wow, that is a beautiful, almost like a dark red or dark, dark amber mahogany. Just really, really pretty color on that. And when I swirl it, I'm getting some hints of a, almost like a burnt orange, but just really pretty. And on that, I mean, I'm thinking right now, deep, rich, complex, oily. I mean, that's just a beautiful color. But let me swirl this one more, one or two more times, and let's give this a nose. Here we go. Oh, okay. Well, number one, first and foremost, yes, there's a little bit of alcohol heat. Uh, but let me give this another nose. Wow, some nice aromas coming through. And you know, I got to say, well, yes, the alcohol heat is there. It's not overpowering. I mean, I'm picking out some nice aromas. I'm getting some vanilla. I'm getting a little bit of orange. There's some slight chocolate coming through, some dried fruit. I mean, really, really nice. And we're getting a little bit of wood spice on the back end as well. But, I mean, with and that's, that's pretty impressive with, with the amount of alcohol heat coming off. I'm still pulling out these other aromas. So let's see how that translates to the palate. And let's give this a little swig. Here we go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. That is really, really flavorful. I mean, yes, once again, there is the alcohol heat, but it is lingering a little bit here, but it's not overbearing, and I'm still getting some nice uh, extra flavors in there. I said that that dried fruit is coming through. I'm getting some uh, wood smoke. There's another little sip here. Some of that vanilla is coming through. Uh, there's almost uh, like a, a creamy fruit cake uh, flavors coming through, and a little bit of that wood spice, you know, is, is rounding it out. But like I said, there is definite separation in all the flavors, just like with the aromas. And I mean, okay, so yeah, the heat's lingering a little, but it's not overpowering. It really isn't. It's 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 not like burning your you know burning your palate. It's really really nice. Let me give this one another little sip here. Because I can. Now, I don't mind the heat. So the way I would drink this is, yeah, I would drink this neat. But I know it's always fun to experiment. Like you could put an ice cube in this or a few drops of water, and it would definitely change the flavor a little bit. Um, you know, if, if you put a couple drops of water, it's definitely going to mellow out the ABV percentage. And, you know, it's probably going to blossom. You'll definitely see a color change. 
and you know you could get some more floor you have some floral notes on this it, but it would definitely change the uh, the flavor profile a little bit um so it's always fun to experiment uh and you don't have to do the with scotch i mean you could do this with a, a lot of different spirits but back to the review uh, i'm gonna give this one more quick sip though because i really like this mm. so what would i give this i mean i'm gonna give this i'm gonna give this a straight up nine i really really like this yeah, I'm giving this a nine. My only complaint, and it's like, once again, it's not even really a complaint. It's just, I don't mind the heat, but it does linger just, you know, it lingers a little bit too long. But beyond that, I mean, it's, the balance is near perfect. It's really, surprisingly, for the amount of heat on it, it's really easy to drink. And the flavor profile's great. The aromas are great. I mean, you get a lot of good stuff here. This is a really, really well done scotch. Great balance, highly recommend it. Uh, I recommend it, re recommend it, recommend it. I re recommend it so much, I'm gonna take another sip. Here we go. Mm. Boom, there we go. And on that note, I wanna thank everyone for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the website, which is www.pubshaveapintin.com, or at the blog, which is www.pubshaveapintin.blogspot.com. And on that note, I'm going to take one more sip, but after I finish the episode. So I want to raise a glass here, and y'all have a good day. Cheers. Prost. We'll see you next time, and enjoy.